Hello, I am Chong Hyuk Yoon at Georgia Tech. It is my honor to present a hybrid computing memory and digital online macro with write verification and a read digital detector. This is my bio. I am a postdoctoral fellow at Georgia Tech. I received a PhD degree at KAIST in 2018. My research interest includes computing memory architectures, neuromorphic systems, and high-speed wireline communications. I will begin the presentation with the concept of computing memory architectures and the motivation of this work. Then, I will discuss the architecture for hybrid CIM and digital online macro. The measurement results will be shown, and I will summarize the presentation with the conclusions. A computing memory architecture has gained importance in achieving high-throughput, low-latency AA systems. A traditional von Neumann architecture suffers from the latency and the power dissipation incurred by intra-chip data communications. Thus, CIM architecture has emerged to surmount the aforementioned problems by conducting computation in memory. By employing CIM architectures, low-latency, energy-efficient computing systems can be realized. Many prior arts tried to implement CIM architectures with various types of memory. The next-generation memory has an advantage in density and number volatility compared to SRAM. Even though RAM has a high write voltage, a low read voltage helps RAM support compatibility with a CMOS process. In addition, an adequate on-off ratio of RAM enables multi-bit encoding compared to MRAM. Thus, RLAM is a promising candidate for CIM architectures. However, there are some obstacles in RLAM-based CIM architectures, such as MAC functionality of the on-off ratio and the endurance and reliability of RLAM cells. This slide shows the MAC operations with an RLAM array. To support neural networks in RLAM-based CIM architectures, the current sensing map is generally used in an RLAM array. The RLAM is encoded in a low and high resistance state to represent weights in the current sensing map. The output of the current sensing map is determined by the ratio of the total current to the LRS current. The total current is determined by aggregating the bitwise multiplication in each RLAM cell. When the input is high, the output of bitwise multiplication is determined by the RLAM resistance. The LRS and HRS current means 1 and 0 in the output of bitwise multiplication respectively. Since the HRS current should be treated as 0, a high HRS resistance is desirable. In case an on-off ratio is high, the aggregate HRS current does not affect the MAC output. However, with a low on-off ratio, the aggregate HRS current exceeds the amount of the LRS current, thereby incurring the erroneous MAC output. Thus, a low on-off ratio leads to logic ambiguity in the current sensing max, thereby degrading the accuracy of AI systems. To support error-free MAC functionality with an RLAM array, the on-off ratio should be sufficiently high. However, the endurance of RLAM should be also considered in RLAM-based CIM architectures. The formation and rupture of conductive filaments of right operations gradually damage RLAM cells. In particular, if the change of the filament is drastic due to a high on-off ratio, higher damage is accumulated. Thus, in the case of a high on-off ratio to obtain superior MAC functionality, the RLAM has inferior endurance. 
since RM suffers from an inherently low endurance, it limits the lifespan of the system employing RM. Considering the trade-off, an RM with a high on-off ratio exacerbates the lifespan of the system. Thus, high performance map under a low on-off ratio is desirable to implement high endurance, high performance RM based systems. Another challenge of RLAM is reliability. Since RLAM has a different sensitivity to a right parts of our RLAM cells, the RLAM resistance varies over right operations. In addition, read disturb also affects the RLAM resistance of our read operations. To obtain a reliable resistance in an RLAM array, a resistance monitoring is necessary. I will explain the architecture for hybrid CIM and distal RLAM macro. This slide shows the top block diagram of the proposed hybrid CIM and distal RLAM macro. The proposed RLAM macro supports voltage sensing CIM using a high endurance RLAM array. With hybrid CIM and the distal MAC operation, 1-bit to 8-bit programmable MAC is supported under a low on ratio. To secure reliable resistances, iterative write with verification and online read disturb detector are employed. In CIM operations, the input is fed to the waterline decoder and the input aware current control. The input-aware current control helps linearize the reader voltage at bin lines. Through the bin line marks, 8 bin lines are selected for concurrent CIM operation. The reader voltage, which is the result of CIM, is applied to the 4-bit ADC. Then, the input-aware ADC decoder generates the CIM output, which is the intermediate output of the system. The intermediate output is finally fed to the shift and edge based post back block. Considering the MAC configurations, the final MAC operation is obtained in the post MAC block. In the proposed RLAM macro, the resistance monitoring is conducted in write and read operations. During write operations, the write verification block estimates whether an RLAM cell is programmed within the target range of resistances. If the resistance is out of the target range, iterative write operation is conducted while adjusting the pulse width. In the online read disturb detector, the read disturb of RLAM cells is monitored in the background without hindering MAC operations. The hybrid MAC operation consists of CIM at the B9 and the distal post MAC. This slide shows the structure of the B9 for CIM. The proposed RLAM macro supports 3 by 3 kernel CNN operation by accessing 9 word lines simultaneously. In multi-bit MAC operations, the sig significant bits of which are represented over multiple B9. And the significant bits of the inputs are represented in a temporal manner. With the input and weight, the CNN operations are conducted and the reader circuit obtains the intermediate output. Then, the intermediate output is fed to the digital post MAC block. This slide shows the shift based multiplication in the digital post MAC block. Each path represents the bitwise shift for the binary weight of the input and weight. According to MAC configurations, the bitwise shift is conducted, thereby obtaining the weighted intermediate output. Then, the digital adder in the post-MAC block accumulates the weighted intermediate output. According to MAC configurations, the accumulating time and the composition of outputs are determined. The final MAC output is obtained in every designated time period. Thus, 
The proposed Alarm macro supports the programmable Mac operations by incorporating CIM in an Alarm array and the digital post Mac block. Now, I will explain the voltage sensing read operation in CIM. To obtain the CIM output in a voltage sensing Alarm macro, the nonlinearity of the reader voltage should be addressed. In the case of a fixed amount of the voltage midline current, the reader voltage drastically decreases over the number of access to alarm cells due to the parallel resistance. To overcome the nonlinearity, the current control considering the number of access to alarm cells is desirable. Thus, the input aware current control is employed by composing a unit pair of a current source and an alarm cell. Then, the reader voltage has a constant region over the number of access to alarm cells. However, still, there is the nonlinearity of the reader voltage over the compositions of access to alarm resistances. This slide shows the remaining nonlinearity on the input aware current control. The nonlinearity can be estimated by using the equivalent model of the bin line. The equivalent model assumes a unique current source and the equivalent resistance, which is the parallel resistance multiplied by the number of access to alarm cells. Over the number of access to alarm cells and the error cells, the reader voltage suffers from a high nonlinearity. In the proposed alarm macro, a feedback amplifier is employed to suppress the remaining nonlinearity. The feedback amplifier linearizes the reader voltage owing to the enhanced loop gain. In addition, the tolerance to PBT variations is provided by controlling the bias voltage. Furthermore, the feedback amplifier helps reduce the size of the current source by adjusting the bias voltage of the current source. This slide shows the equivalent model with a feedback amplifier. The equation shows the unique current over the equivalent resistance. To suppress the nonlinearity over the composition of the resistances, a feedback amplifier provides a new bias voltage and the amplification of the change of the reader voltage. The simulated reader voltage over the number of access to alarm cells is shown in this slide. The x-axis is the number of error cells and the y-axis is the reader voltage. With a nominal gain of the feedback amplifier, the linear reader voltage is achieved among the HRS and LRS resistances. Even though the range of the reader voltage is decreased, the worst case sampling margin increases owing to the feedback amplifier. In addition, the reader voltage is distributed between the HRS and LRS reader voltage regardless of the number of access to alarm cells. Thus, the linear reader voltage over the composition of resistances is achieved. This slide shows the schematics of the voltage sensing bin line. The input concurrently accesses the alarm cells in the selected bin line to conduct CIM. The input aware current control sets the amount of the bin line current proportional to the number of access to alarm cells. The feedback amplifier linearizes the reader voltage over the compositions of access to alarm resistances. The proposed voltage sensing bin line structure can be modeled as the voltage averaging circuit with LRS and HRS reader voltage. The reader voltage represents the ratio of the number of HRS and LRS cells. With a higher number of LRS cells among the number of access to alarm cells, the reader voltage approaches the LRS reader voltage. To convert the reader voltage to the CIM output, the 4-bit ADC is used as the reader circuit. 
Due to the input-aware current control, the range of the reader voltage is the same over the number of access DLM cells. The reference voltages are distributed to attain the optimal sampling margin over the number of access DLM cells. Then, according to the number of access DLM cells, the ADC decoder selects the ADC output, thereby obtaining the CIM output. In summary, the reader voltage represents the compositions of access DLM cells, and the ADC determines the CIM output concerning the number of access DLM cells. This slide shows the schematics of the ADC comparator. The strong arm latch is used to achieve a high sensitivity in ADC. The current clamp is employed to mitigate the variation of the input offset of the reader voltages, thereby relaxing the range of reference voltages. The reference generator consists of 3-bit thermometer and 5-bit binary cords to achieve monotonicity of the reference voltages. The next topic is iterative write with verification. This slide shows the characteristic of RLM cells in write operations. Since an RLM array has no hard set or reset, there is a dependency upon previous resistances and write operations. Furthermore, RLM has a different sensitivity to the write pulses of RLM cells. Thus, a single write operation cannot guarantee the narrow distribution of RLM resistances. To achieve reliable resistance distribution in an RLM array, iterative write with verification is employed. By using the ADC, the RLM resistance is monitored in each write operation. In case the RLM resistance is not placed within the target range, the pulse width is updated, then another iteration is initiated in write operations. Finally, the tightened distribution of RLM resistance is achieved. I will explain the online read disturb detector. This slide shows the read disturb at LRS and HRS cells. Of our read operations, the reader voltage gradually lowers the RLM resistances. In particular, HRS cells more suffer from read disturb due to a higher voltage per unit length at the insulator. Thus, online read disturb detectors are employed to maintain HRS resistances of our read operations. The distribution of reference voltages is the same as CIM mode. The decrease of HRS resistances is monitored when a single HRS cell is accessed. In case the reader voltage of the HRS cell is lower than the threshold of read disturb detection, the HRS cell is reset again. The read disturb is monitored in the background without hindering the CIM output. Now, I will show the measurement results of the proposed RLM macro. This measured result shows the 1 bit MAC operation over the bitwise shift of the input. Since the 1 bit MAC operation consists of bitwise XOR and accumulation, the initial output is 4 and the output decreases over the bitwise shift of the input. Owing to input-aware current control with the feedback amplifier, the proposed RLM macro achieves the linear reader voltage. The x-axis is the number of accessed LRS cells, and the y-axis is the reader voltage. M means the number of accessed RLM cells. Compared to the nonlinear reader voltage, the proposed reader circuit achieves a 5.7 time wider sensing margin. In addition, the proposed reader circuit provides more sampling margin in the case of a lower number of access DLM cells. 
This slide shows the measured result of iterative write with the verification of 100 RM cells. The x-axis is the reader voltage and the y-axis is CDF. In this measurement, the resistance of an HRS cell is estimated by using the reader voltage. The HRS cell has a wide distribution of resistances in a single write operations. Of iterative write operations, the distribution of HRS cells is tightened. Thus, the tailbed, which is the outlier in the HRS distribution, is suppressed. Owing to iterative write with verification, the distribution of HRS reader voltage reduces to 34%. This measured result shows that the number of operations used in the forming process and write operations. The forming process requires multiple pulses since more energy is necessary to set pristine RM cells. This slide shows the measured result of the online read disturb detector. The x-axis is the number of read operations, and the y-axis is the normalized HRS resistance. In this measurement, the extreme condition is used to accelerate the read disturb. The HRS resistance decreases over the read operations due to read disturb. Then, once the HRS resistance reaches the threshold of the read disturb detector, the plaque to reset the HRS cell is assaulted. Finally, the HRS cell is reset to retain a high resistance. The online read disturb detector successfully detects the decrease of HRS resistances without hindering CIM operations. The proposed RLM macro achieves the peak energy efficiency of 56.67 tops watt. The average energy efficiency is 4.15 tops per watt. The power breakdown of the proposed RLM macro is shown in this slide. The RLM bending current is the main power consumption in the proposed RLM macro. This slide shows the estimated inference accuracy of various tasks. In the case of MNIST, the estimated loss of accuracy is less than 4%. The inference accuracy in ImageNet is also estimated with VGG and mobile net architectures. The proposed RLM macro helps support AI applications with less than 6% loss of accuracy. This figure shows the PCB and the voltage range of each supply domain. This slide shows the comparison table and the chip characteristic. The proposed RLM macro achieves the peak energy efficiency of 56.67 tops per watt. Compared to prior arch, the voltage sensing CIM architecture enables a high endurance RLM to support MAC operations under low on up ratio. In addition, the proposed RLM macro supports programmable 1 to 8 bit MAC operations. Iterative write with verification and the online read disturb detector enable reliable MAC operations. The test chip is fabricated in TSMC 40 nanometer CMOS and RLM process. In this presentation, a high endurance hybrid CIM and digital RLM macro is proposed. This work provides programmable 1 to 8 bit MAC operations. The proposed voltage sensing CIM architecture achieves high MAC performance with a high endurance RLM array. The iterative write with verification and the online read disturb detector achieves the narrow distribution of RLM resistances, thereby enabling reliable CIM operations. The test chip achieves the peak energy efficiency of 56.67 tops per watt. Thank you for listening.